Hi there. We're going to be making another fold along card and this is a botanical and arrow shaped fold along card. So this one has more of a label shape but it still has the feature with the pop out label shape that's perfect for your sentiments or your die cut expressions. But if you note here we have some fallouts on the side. This is an optional drop in feature on the fold along card. It's something brand new and I'll show you the technique to do it. So let's get started. So the first thing that you want to do with a fold along card is take a 6 by 12 piece of paper and you want to fold that in half. You'll notice that the die to make a fold along card looks like it's only about half of the card and that uses the technique of folding your piece of paper in half. Um, this keeps the cost point a lot lower for you guys and gives you just a fun technique to make an extended card base. So the way that you use this I like to use my magnetic platform so everything stays in place and then I put my piece of paper on with the fold facing the top and I take my die and I put it blade side down and I line up the edge of it to be just a hair over that fold just to make sure everything stays together so it looks like so and then you go ahead and finish your Sizzix sandwich and roll it through the machine. And I am going to roll it through twice since I want it to cut both pieces of paper since one piece is folded in half. Now this is the really fun part when you take your die out of your machine, get rid of your excess paper, and you unfold your card base to reveal a completely extended card base. So there are score lines indicated on here where you just literally fold along the score lines. It's kind of like an accordion fold. You just want it to go up, down, up, down. And this gives you your base to work with. Now if you note on the sample, we have these extra panels with fallouts on them. So I cut out this card a secondary time, just like so. And I'm just going to trim these panels off so I can use them um, to add some more dimension and just have my decorative shapes fall out of them. So I will just quickly get my trimmer and line up my edges. And again, those score lines that help you fold show you right where you would want to cut. So there's one panel. You can also cut, you know, you can cut any panel and add a layering dimension to it. I'm just choosing to do the outside ones. Cut this again. And now we have these two panel shapes that we can add to the outside of our card. So it helps accentuate the different dimensions and gives you just a more interesting base to work off of. But this fold along card has this unique drop in shape. So this can actually sit right on top of your label shape and help you add some more decorative features and elements to the outside. So again, you just take your panel piece that you've cut out. I'm gonna use my magnetic platform and the lines on here line up just with the edge of that paper so you can see where you need to do your cuts. And you send that on through your machine. And then when you remove everything, you have all these nice fallout pieces to add to your card. Um, for this, I'm going to go ahead and use my die brush just to get all my winky pieces out of there. It's a really quick way to keep your dies clean so they're ready to be used at any moment. Another feature that this goes with is the label shape. So we have our label shape that inserts into the middle of the card base. So we have already cut that out and that comes along with the die. But you'll note that this drop-in fits right into the label shape. So if you want to actually cut out your label shape to have the fallouts, you have that option as well. So we can just run that through and show you. So I'm going to line it up on my magnetic platform like so, so everything stays in place, even when you bang it on your machine. I'll take it off. So that gave me the one side. Now I'll just turn it over and do the other side. You see it just slides right in there and fits. 
And again, this is just an option, so you have um, a, a more variety. You can leave it plain, you can do arrows on the outside, you can do arrows on the inner label shape, just to give you guys um, up to three options for designing the card base. So that's how it will turn out. Um, for this one, of course, I'm just going to do the outside ones. I just wanted to share that technique with you. So we will move on to decorating our outside panels. I like to add a little bit of Distress ink to my panels on the outside. I'm just going to take the ink and go right over the edges um, just to accentuate my borders and help it feel even more dimensional since I do like the pop out factor. Go ahead and get the other side all inked up. This creates also kind of a vintage look and helps it match the decorative paper that's on the inside. So we'll just take some adhesive and put it on each panel end. And this edge will line up perfectly with your card base edge since that's what you, the die you used to cut it out in the first place. We'll add it to the other side. And there's a quick, easy way to have a nice peekaboo effect on your card base. So that is the base to get started with. I'll put that aside for now. And now we'll focus on our label shape that has the decorative phrase on it. The phrase that we are using is a different die and it's called Would You Be Mine? But it does come with several pieces that help you layer up for a really completed look. So we have a base shape that is a heart and if you note there's little wood branches coming off of there because the typography phrase says would you be mine with w-o-o-d so that's a cute element and then it also has the label shape that you just layer right on top i cut mine out of wood just to help accentuate the whole theme of uh, the wood word and it being natural and from nature so i'll just put a little bit of adhesive on the inner heart shape and layer that right on my wood heart shape to get started. And now we have the phrase. We have the phrase, would you be mine? And then we have some layering elements, the word would, the letter U, and the word be. Just if you choose to add and layer more colors. For this one, I just added an inside U and a B just to help it stand out a little more. So we have these cut out. And this can just go, oh, here it is. I'm going to put some adhesive on here. This is a great chance to use a Sizzix adhesive sheet. If you go ahead and back your paper with an adhesive sheet before you cut your die out, it actually turns it into a sticker, which is very convenient um, for these little intricate dies. Wafer dies and delicate dies are so popular right now that that's a great way to make things adhere strongly without your adhesive showing through. So we have our beginning, would you be mine? And then I'm gonna layer, pardon me, I'm gonna layer this little U right into this spot, fits right in there. And then I also have the B. So I'll add a little bit of a adhesive, I will trim that off, and I will layer my E right on top, and then I will layer my B the same way. And now we start to have a little more depth to our sentiment phrase in the middle. Like so. So now I will take my label shape and again I'm going to use some distress ink and just go around the edges um, to help it pop out. And I'm going to use pop dots 
to add my label shape onto my other label shape, um, just to help it again pop out more and accentuate the detail of it. Probably a little too high. Adjustable pop dots are great. <laughs> and then some final elements. I'm gonna add a little ribbon at the bottom. Just tie a little bow and um, trim my edges accordingly. And I'm gonna grab a smaller pop dot just to put my ribbon on there. And then I just have some adhesive rhinestones to add some bullying around my tree heart. And it's cool, they go right on top of the berries, which is kind of fun. And then you have your completed label shape. And this is ready to insert into these slots here. People ask, why is there a hole in the middle of your card base? That's there so your label shape can not only fit in there without requiring adhesive, but also so it stands up and pops out it gives you the space for your label shape to pop out and just be more fun and interactive. So this is a great card base. It uses a lot of interesting techniques, and I hope you all enjoy it as much as I do.